I believe. Oh yeah, there it is. One Piece set six is here. Six is my lucky number. So hopefully this is my lucky set. I love the One Piece card game and I love to shrimp them. So let's get this case open. Look for manga rares, alt arts, all that good stuff. And the manga deck, which you may have seen the video on the manga deck, but this is releasing today. It'll be available on Kaizoku cards with the limited serial Luffy leader. But enough about all that. Let's shrimp them. Beautiful box art. I love English boxes. Box number one, a case has 12 boxes in it. So we're gonna strip 12 boxes in this video. And if you've never been to a strip them, I'd like to welcome you to the Joku Shoku where I strip them a lot. And strip them is easy. Really all you have to do is you just crack a box, you bless them a pack, you get your bless them pack, and then you find that strip them nub on the pack and you guide it down to the other strip them nub and you just ease open it with ease i think it's about time to pull an alternate art here we go first alt art of the set is nami swan yeah this is actually probably my favorite alt art this card's insane this is a it's a thunderbolt with counter power so if you trigger this off life you can ko a five cost or less and you can play this card to give something banish. There's a bunch of cards that have double attack in yellow. I mean, the Yamato leader, you can give Yamato double attack and then use your two Dawn to give to another character after you pay for this. It's crazy, crazy good card. I definitely need a play set of these, so I'm very hyped to pull this card. It's beautiful also, the texture on here is really nice. Really, really good foiling choices. Shiny in all the right places. Look at those belly, whew. I don't think we're gonna see another alt art, but I do think secret time. Box number two, getting in here. I heard the treasure Nami is like one in three cases or something. Oh, oh, Kami, very nice. So this is a Fishman or Merfolk searcher, which is good in the Hody deck, but just to have a searcher of an archetype is always good. So this could be viable in future decks or anything that has fishmen or uh, merfolk archetypes. So it's pretty nice to have a shiny searcher. That's a pretty card too. Previous sets, but a secret Zoro would be realistic in one of these packs. Whoa, 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 yeah. Yo, this Gecko Moria card is sick. This card's crazy. You can chain so much stuff with this. This is an absolutely insane tool for black. I love that it has the scissors on it on them. You can see like the shadow and the background and the cool texture. Smashing it. Great foiling decisions on these little like shiny parts on his jacket, the metal things. Very cool. All right, box number three. Let's get in here. So it looks like the ratios have been a little bit different. There were two alt arts and no secret, which is very strong. Oh, Akira Egawa. Yeah, strikes again. This Shanks art is awesome. I don't know if this is the 10 Dawn that you invest in a red deck because it's not that crazy of an effect compared to like Whitebeard or some other cards, but it is a very sick looking card. Look at that texture in there. There's like multiple kinds of texture overlaid, it looks like. That is really sick. Really, really sick card. I love this card. My Agira, Akira Agawa collection continues. If if one day I can only collect some One Piece cards, I will forever collect Akira Agawa arts. So, but there's just so many good alt arts in this set. Like they all look, oh, whoa, Perona. Wow, this is also a really strong card. For some reason the English just look better than the Japanese cards. I don't know if that's just me. Maybe it's because I can read them. Wow, look at that shiny crown. Whew. That is a good looking card. Who did the art on this? Koshi Rokushiro. I haven't seen that artist's name. I might've just missed that. But this is a really, really sick card. It's a strong card also, because you can basically make your opponent discard or you get to rest something. So cards that have options like that, I think are good. Box number four. Here. Have not seen one yet. Oh, Aramaki. This is the the green guy comes to Wano and busts him up. So this is one alt art. It's possible 
that we're either gonna get an alt art or a secret in this box, or maybe an SP also takes that slot. So far, we've only seen boxes with two hits. So expect one more hit from this box, maybe three, I don't know. Can we make it a Reju? Oh, Zoro, here's the Zoro secret rare. Nice, this card's really, really good. Maybe that's why they made it less secret rares heavy because this card's just insane. Or maybe it's still this many secret rares per case and you just get gimped on the other end. I don't know, I don't know what the ratios are, but we're gonna keep shrimping to find out. Box number five. It's just two alternate arts per box and there's our Sanji. So if it's if there's still eight secrets in a case and it's only two hits per box, that's gonna that's gonna hurt on the ratios pretty bad. All right, alternate art time. Alt art Reju, let's go. Ooh, Luffy, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I need a lot of these, but I definitely want to have at least one of them. But yeah, that that foiling is so good. It's so expansive. It looks expensive actually that's what i would say wow they crush this i love this effect this is so dang good it's like spirals and he's just so hype i love this card i can't wait for next set luffy the next set luffy art is an oda art it's the first time i think that an alt art is an oda art in a set so it's very hype i'm very excited about that Box number six, this marks halfway point of our set six case opening. I'm really hoping they drop the secret rare distribution to, oh, here's something. Oh, another Shanks, sick. Yeah, very, very cool. I'll take as many of these as possible. Anything, anything Akira Agawa, I will gladly, gladly have it in my collection any day of the week, ever. Feeling we're gonna see another secret in this box. Yep, there he is, Sanji. So this should, Probably be the last hit in this box. I'm gonna keep shrimping, mean, just in case. Box number seven. Bless him. I'm really hoping that, oh, here's our first alt art leader, Yamato Reiju. Nice. Reiju alt art, very hot. Right out, of the, right out of the first pack. Very cool. You know, honestly, I'm not crazy about this art. I like my arts better, a lot better. I feel like I've made, like this Reiju I think is a lot hotter. Not out yet, but it will be coming out soon. Keep an eye on Kaizoku cards for when this drops. I just, yeah, I like that better than this. TBH, but what are you gonna do? Because last set we saw SPs in the leader boxes. So, no secret. Oh man, okay, wait. So is there still a chance at an alternate art? Oh, an alt art. Okay, so three hits in a leader box. Interesting. All right, we are on to box number eight. I guess I guess the two alt art box is the same. They're just shoving, oh, SP Sugar, all right. There's our first SP, I'm assuming there's two in this case. And it also, I have a feeling that all the heat is on the bottom of the case again. Oops, they did it again. Look how dang shiny that is. That is a really shiny sugar. Cute art also is there gonna be another alt art in this box oh man if there was a secret i would be bummed Ooh, judge not the vin smoke i was looking for but i think you still need this for the reju deck and i want to play reju because i think it looks really fun i'm gonna try it out um and this man is thick big thick man on play, don't minus one. You may trash two cards in your hand. Play up to four Germa 66 type character cards with different card names and 4,000 power or less from your trash. Activate main, minus one. Rest up to one of your opponent's Dawn cards. That's strong. That's a strong card. We're about to find out on this episode of Joku Shrippum's set six, one piece. We got a secret rare. So the SP box also has three hits. Box number nine. Let's see what it is. Oh, Judge, right out of the pack. There's our alt art, alt art Judge. Again, not the uh, not the Vin Smoke that we were looking for, but a good Vin Smoke, no less. But I think we are gonna see a secret rare. Oh, leader, Yamato, Yamato, ah, ya oh, Perona. We didn't pull Japanese Perona, so this is cool. 
I haven't seen this one yet. Again, I'm not totally crazy about these arts that they chose. I, I, I like the original Oda art better, but I don't know if there were great options, I guess. And I don't know how easily they would have gotten him to draw it. I believe there should be a secret rare Zoro. Oh, 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 alt art Sanji secret. What is going on here? I'm having a hard time following these ratios. But this card is sick. Very, very sick looking card. Very, very cool. And really strong. You can play Zoro with this in the uh, Zoro Sanji deck, actually. Box number 10. We're getting there. All right, there should... Oh, wait, another alt art leader. What? Uta. That's three alt art leaders in a case? What is going... Oh yeah, there's usually four in English. That's right, I'm, I'm messed up here. So we're still gonna get two hits in this box. A fresh alt art, how about that? Oh, Shiraya. This is a film character from, I don't really know what film, but very cool. He's a blocker and uh, once per turn or when attacking, this character's base power becomes the same as your opponent's leader until the start of your next turn. That's pretty good. There's a lot of big leaders out there, especially with, like the uh, ST13 Luffy that can become like a 9K. This guy could be a 9K blocker. Not quite as cool, I believe. Oh yeah, there it is. The Alt Art Reiju. This is drawn by the same artist that drew Alt Art Boa Hancock in set one. This is the best alt in the set, for sure. Woo, so good. I thought it was Nami, but I forgot that this was a card. And Nami's like a really good card. I'll probably play Nami more. I think this Reiju is a little bit uh, more. Actually, this is just strong. If you have less Dawn than your opponent or it's equal, you just draw two cards if you have five cards in hand. So really, really strong card, actually. And the art on it is insane. The foiling's insane. Look at these rages. They look good together. Could you imagine this leader with this card? Look really good. Yeah. I'm into that. I still don't know why they're not making their pupils shiny. But maybe they will one day. Box number 11. Oh! Momo! The Mirage Foiling Momo. This card's really good, and it's really good in Yamato because you can kind of regenerate life, and you can set stuff up to play again, set stuff up to heal. It's just a really, really strong blocker. I did not know how good this card was when I was reading it in Japanese, but now that I've looked at it a bit, I know this card is awesome and a really cool foiling technique. Can we make it into an SP Big Mo? Oh, Hody, dang, bummer. Oh, well. I mean, this alt art leader looks better, but you don't. I don't think you're supposed to make teeth shiny. I think teeth are supposed to be white. I'm a dentist, so that's a dental tooth tip. I would have gone for like making this and this shiny and keep the teeth white. But I have no choice. They did make his pupil shiny, so that's cool. I would love to pull some of those. Oh, Zoro! All right, it's probably our last secret, I think. Box number twelve. Here we are at the end of the case. Bigumam, this is definitely going to be the SP box. Oh, Hody, yeah. Hate the art, love this card. This card's crazy. Really, really nuts in Yamato as a finisher because you can just play it for seven, use Yamato's effect to give it two dollars, and then you're swinging for ten for game, which is kind of crazy. Gunning for it. I think we pulled all the secrets at this point. SP Zoro, another secret. We got one more hit in this case. It's going to be an SP. And it's buggy. Good card. Crazy art. This is actually really great. Wow. Can't be KO'd by slash characters. Don't forget it. Buggy going wild. I did not pull this in Japanese either, so it's cool to see this card. And that's it for the hits in the case. All right, so let's do a quick review of what's in the case from the bottom of the top. From the bottom, we got a Zoro, we got a Buggy, and a Hody. And then our Dawn are separating boxes. In the bottom, another bottom box, we got a Zoro, we got a Hody Alt Art Leader, and a Momo. Another bottom box, we got the Vinsmoke Reiju, 
and the Shiraya and the Altart Uta. And the next box, we got an Altart Sanji Secret. We got an Altart uh, Vinsmoke Judge and Altart Perona Leader. And another box, we got the Zoro Judge and our other SP with Sugar. And then the last bottom box was Altart Reiju. Uh, Sanji secret and Aramaki alt art and then in the top boxes we got one box with a Sanji secret and a Shanks alt and then another box with a Sanji secret and a Luffy alt another box with a Zoro secret and an Aramaki alt another box with two alts a Perona and Shanks and another box with uh, two alts Gecko Moria and Kami and another box with a Sanji secret rare and Onami. So the number of alt arts you get in a case is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The number of secrets you get in a case is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, the usual. Four alt art leaders and two SPs. So that's about the same as previous cases. I think it's always been 16 or 17 alts in a case, um, so the ratios aren't that bad. But I am Joku DMD. Thanks for coming to check out this case. Shrip them. If you enjoyed it, please hit that subscription button. It really helps me out. I am a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. I've said this one a couple times, but if you're thinking about straightening your teeth, just do it. Not even just for the looks, but getting your bite idealized so your teeth are biting in the right place can solve a myriad of other issues that might be going on. Talk to your dentist about it. See if you're a case for it. And uh, there's lots of easy ways to do it these days. I do it at my office in Princeton, New Jersey. If you ever want to come by for a dental visit, please come in. I give cards to all my patients. I got this one in a box ready to give to my next patient. I'll see y'all in the next one.